joined by Nine News political analyst Kelly Maher. Republican, 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 we'll flash it on the screen for you here. Yes. Um, so if today's convention developments are any indication, President Trump and his allies are going to be awesome at quashing dissent. Yeah, that was really striking. I mean, it looks like they had 10 states that wanted to bring it to a vote. They only needed seven, and uh, the chair ruled against them anyway. Yep. And so, you know, down. basically, yeah, the Colorado delegation said, well, if, we're go if this is just going to be the farce that it looks like it's going to be, there's no reason for us to be here. So they walked. Yes. Is Colorado a swing state if the Colorado Republican delegation walks out on Donald Trump? Well, here's the thing is the question is, is the Colorado delegation a uh, like a microcosm of Colorado Republicans at large? Um, and that's a question of whether or not the caucus is a good indicator of all Republicans across the state. But the truth is, Colorado will probably likely always be a swing state, at least to some extent. Daryl Glenn has a huge opportunity tonight. Not only is he speaking at the convention, but he's speaking on a night when there are not a lot of high profile voices, so he could get some attention. Right, the theme today is keep America safe again. So that is a theme that he will fit into very well. First off, second off, this is a format that really favors him. This is going to be like state convention where he won handily and he gave an amazing speech. He, he, he absolutely could. Yeah. It's going to be like state convention, except much greater and grander in scale. So this is this is really his time to shine. We know. Uh, other people whose political careers have been made or broken on this stage, Barack Obama being one of them. And I really think that Daryl Glenn will do very well tonight. So the first excerpts of his speech that were released this afternoon indicate that he's going to talk about race and politics in America. Daryl Glenn talks proudly about the fact that he's a black Republican and what that means, but that's not really his shtick. That's not his thing when he's out on, on the stump talking to voters. Is there a chance that he ends up in a box tonight that he doesn't really want to be in? Well, the thing is that this is something he needs to be talking about because he is a black conservative and there are some real issues in terms of racial divisions across the country. And so he has the opportunity really to become a national leader on this issue, which then I think will be good for him statewide. Cannot get past the irony of a guy up there talking about race and his party. And he said that his party's nominee made a racist statement, said it to us on the air. Is it racist to suggest that someone cannot do their job well because of their ethnicity? The statement can definitely be interpreted as racist. Wild. Anyway, we'll be watching for him tonight. Kelly, many thanks. Thank you.